tomorrow we observe the sixth month anniversary of the senseless and tragic murders at Sandy Hook Elementary School. We will never forget what happened in Newtown, Connecticut on December 14, 2012, just as we will never forget what happened in Tucson, in Oak Creek, Virginia Tech, Portland, Milwaukee, and Columbine. And as we remember the precious lives lost, we must also renew our determination to work together to make sure that such a tragedy never happens again. As a survivor of the Tucson shooting that took place on January 8, 2011, as a grandfather of children the same age as those who were slaughtered in Newtown, and as a member of Congress, I am committed to taking the reasonable action to make sure that we prevent future deaths and injuries from such mass shootings. After the awful shooting and deaths in Newtown, the Sunday following, I was reading the newspaper about the tragedy and I saw a photograph of one of the children that was killed. And as I looked at that photograph of this little six-year-old girl, looking back at me from that page was my granddaughter the same age. I have to tell you that I sobbed along with my wife. I think no grandparent and no parent in this country could have had any other reaction. We must take action here to make sure these, these mass shootings never occur again. While there is no single answer to preventing mass shootings, we do know some things. We know, for example, that untreated or undiagnosed serious mental illness has been a factor in many of these tragedies. It's important to note as we say this, that more than 95% of people with a mental illness never will commit, commit a violent act. They're far more likely to be the victims of violence than the perpetrators. The young man who killed six people in Tucson and wounded 13 of us had displayed symptoms of mental illness for many, many months before the tragedy. And he never received either a diagnosis or treatment. He ended up getting a diagnosis and treatment when he was imprisoned. I believe this and other such mass shootings could have been averted if the public was more aware of the indications of symptoms of mental illness and how to get help. We must do more to reduce the stigma of surrounding mental illness. We must invest in the early identification of mental illness and treatment programs. 60% of people living in this country with mental illness are not receiving the care they need. We must do better. It is clear that we must expand mental health services and awareness for 100% of the individuals with mental illness in the country. And that's one of the reasons I introduced the Mental Health First Aid Act earlier this year with strong bipartisan support. This legislation would provide training to help first responders, educators, students, the general public, to how to identify and respond to signs of mental illness. This is just but one of many actions. You've heard of others from speakers before me today. There are many things we can and must do. The Congress must act. I call on my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand with me and the families of Newtown and of Tucson and all the other places where there have been mass tragedies, shooting tragedies in the last two years, and take action. We must act. We must do it now. The families of Newtown, Oak Creek, Aurora, Tucson, and across this nation are waiting for our answer. Will we answer? I hope we will do it and do it soon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.